everybody. This is your man Justin Kicks hitting y'all with another video. Uh, again, appreciate everybody that's been coming in. Uh, picking back up where I left off a couple years ago, man. Went away back like I never left. And uh, uh, I appreciate everything. Like I said, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, and definitely hit that notification bell as I keep rolling with some of these sneaker videos, reviews, and other things that anything you all want to discuss, man. I appreciate all the comments, the likes. People asking where you been, man. I, hey, I'm glad to be back on here sharing my sneaker opinion with you, sharing my opinions on the sneaker culture, everything like that. And today we're reviewing a sneaker that, boy, I, I'm I'm so happy, happy that I'm able to share the sneaker with you today. Uh, wasn't an easy sneaker to get. Was not an easy sneaker to get. Um, not, not a new sneaker. This is a retro and I think I said in the last video I'm gonna be hitting hitting y'all with some some retros that are not Jordans if it gives you any idea and and this sneaker right here is a sneaker that I I didn't know that we would ever get to see again. It, it was um, It's and I'll say this. It's not my favorite sneaker from this individual anything this individual touches especially right now he, in, in my opinion, greatest, greatest football player of all time. I'm talking about nobody other than prime time, coach prime, Deion Sanders. I don't know if I can respect your list if he's not in your top five. In my On my list, he's the number one athlete of all time. Not saying my favorite athlete of all time, but the number one as far as what he was able to do in two sports at the professional level. The swaggiest person probably of all time at one time was you know cool was the word we used we used cool he was that swag he was that any word that uh identifies something someone who is the big the, the big deal that that's that's primetime Deion sanders so you already know what sneaker i'm about to get into it recently dropped there was a, sh a shock drop on sneakers initially and then they came back and did a um a, a more wider release i was i was able to hit at hibbets uh and i was surprised hibbets got him i tried to hit for the in-store raffle hit nowhere on those there was only like a couple of places um a little bit distance from me that had them nowhere local had them i wanted them in a size 14 because i everybody said they was running kind of small and this was a sneaker like in when it was originally released i was not able to get it i wanted it um and for whatever reason it wasn't at that time you know i wasn't spending my own money at that time and it was 96 so i can't remember if it was a situation where i had to i couldn't get all the sneakers i had to pick one or the other so 96 i'm trying to think was it the jordan 11 I, I, I'm not for sure. I have to go and look up to see what, what sneaker it was. It might have been the 11s. I'm not saying this was my most favorite sneaker that came out in 96 or at that time period, but now being able to get what I want, this is definitely a sneaker that I'm glad to have. So let's go ahead. Enough talking. Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Original box from that time period. And I'm going to tell you, man, the, 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 the early 90s, of Nike sportswear, Nike sneakers, to me is is the golden era of sneakers. I, I'm just trying to think. It's it's just sneaker after sneaker going off in my head that I loved around that time. That's when I was playing ball, playing sports, and Nike had the best ads, had the best commercials at that time period. The athletes they had from Dion, of course, Mike. You had Mike Barkley, Dion. Bo Jackson, uh, it was just, it was endless, the stuff that they was doing at that time, and this this falls right into that era, so when I see this box, it brings back the memories of that time period, so let's go ahead, give you all the official info on this sneaker, this is the Air DT Diamond Turf is what the DT is, the Air DT Max 96, and the black, white, varsity maze and uh got this in size 14 like i said that i wanted uh because i knew based on the people that had them early and had got them on the official the first drop from sneakers they they were a little snug so 
Um, let's go ahead and take a look. Just got the regular tissue paper, nothing special on that. But this this is one where I don't need nothing extra. I don't need nothing extra. I just needed the sneaker on these. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna set this box down. We're gonna get both of these out here and take a look. All right, so here we go. We got them out here. Um, this this was this was at this time in Nike. There was they was putting out the Bruce Smiths. Uh, like I said, the Bo Jack. Now, when I say Bruce Smiths, they weren't called the Bruce Smiths. They were called the Air Veer, but but they was clean. I mean, Drew Bettis had a shoe that uh, Bruce Smith wore the Veers. Bo Jackson had the shoe, but but Dion. Now, it, some will argue between the Bo Jacksons and the the Dion's on who was best. I I love the Bo Jacksons, like like Nori said, the orange and the blue. Uh, but when it came to of those those Jordan Nike football sportswear, Dion was the one. The original one is my favorite one from Dion, but uh, all of them all of them was deal to me. And this one, and you just gotta imagine the way Dion played when he was on the field in these, the way he moved, the speed, the the swagger, everything. These fit perfect with him. So let's just take a look. And I know you've seen them before. It's a retro. But and other people have been doing reviews on them, but I just want to give you my my take on them. And you know, you start out first. I, I I'm sure you all have seen it. If not, I'll put a picture of it up. Uh, he's got the I believe it's the Lambo. I don't know if Nike provided it to him or what, but it's got the same colorway as the sneaker. It's got him and his sons all wearing the gear. And like I said, swag. When it comes to swag, nobody touches. Dion Primetime Sanders, whether it's him as a player, him as a coach. You, you, I'm telling you, this is the reason the kids want to go play for this guy is because he, he's from where they're from. He knows how they think. And, you know, I mean, I, it's a lot of people that hate him. A lot of people that hate him. I'm not one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I admire him where he come from, what he's achieved, and he's done it his way, not changed for anybody. Man, I mean, this is a two-sport athlete. I've watched the documentaries, the 30 for 30s, playing in the World Series, playing in the NFL on the same day. I mean, who else has done this stuff? But anyway, so you got the uh, suede mixed with the leather on the upper, the zebra way, the way it kind of cuts through, tears through. You have the gold hints going up each of the black lines here. You have the gold stitched Nike symbol on the outside there. You got the uh, strap going across the middle with the white Nike sign on the tongue. You got that diamond turf symbol. So you got the home plate from the baseball field and the field goal from the football. Two-star athlete. Um, you got the on the back, you got the stitched. Let me get it here. You got the stitched gold. Um, it lights washing it out. But you got the stitched gold Nike symbol across the back. There you go. You got the knit stitched across the back. You got the Nike Air right there, right there. And the only difference between this and the one that Prime got is his says Prime right there, which I wish they would have let us have that one. But, hey, like I said, I, I'm, I'm cool with it. So the inside, you got the Nike stitched again, the, the swoosh. You got the same. It mirrors the outside with the uh, tearaways in the white right here going all the way around the shoe you got the full visible air bubble on the back of the sneaker on the inside let's see here yep we got the uh the diamond turf logo on the inside i hope you can see that yeah so you got the diamond turf with the two baseballs crossing baseball bats crossing at the bottom and then on the inside, it's got turf. And you can see right down there, small, is the uh, football, if you can see that. It's a little small football down in the middle of the logo. Um, yellow is the rest of the insole. The whole insole is yellow with the logo on top. But I'm telling you, you got the, this is a neoprene glove. This is what kind of they were doing at that time period, the Hirachi. Um, the Jordan 7, 
they all had that little boot on the inside of it. So that's what you got with these. And that what kind of makes it a little tight. Uh, the one thing is with, with the sneakers from that time period, they were bulky. You know what I'm saying? So when you see that, it's it's a bulky bulky sneaker. Probably not, not the lightest compared to what Nike does now as far as uh, performance and everything like that. It was a different time period. The technology was much different. So this is a bulky shoe. So on the bottom, you got the white outsole black swoosh and then you got the the man himself prime time uh you got the logo or his face inside the bubble with the bandana on and um got the earring in just pr just prime now he did he did make the comment who else ever had their face on the shoe and you know at that time period we, we know who else did Allen Iverson. You know, people was calling him out for that. But, you know, this is Prime. Prime only think about what Prime been doing. You know what I'm saying? So, but Iverson did have it on his word. But either way, two, two transcending athletes. When you talk about changing culture or representing the culture, those two guys, the, the you know, when you talk about guys who have influenced people as much as these two, you know, and again, everybody didn't like how either one of them did it. A lot of people don't like how Dion is braggadocious, uh, talks about his abilities and things of that nature. I have no problem with it as long as you can back it up. If you can back it up, and this guy, Alan Iverson, they backed it up, so I can't hate on them. So anyway, the other sneaker is a mirror image of the first one. No differences inside. Everything is exactly the same on this one. So um, again... This was, uh, I, I guess, you know, this was a, it's a retro, but I don't feel like it was that much of a general release. I know a lot of people who wanted them did not get them. You know what I'm saying? So uh, people thought when they did the wider release, it was going to be easy to get them. I know, well, I'll put it this way, in the bigger sizes, it wasn't as easy. Smaller sizes, I did see those sitting around, but in the bigger sizes, this was not an easy sneaker to pick up. And uh, they're going to be coming with more colorways. Next year, they're going to be bringing back the the OG, the Atlanta Falcon, um, uh, Diamond Turf, uh, my favorite of all of them. Uh, but I'm sure as long as he's at Colorado and as long as they as popular as they are right now, and when I say popular, again, a lot of people are watching him to fall and want them to lose, but you're watching. You know what I'm saying? So whether you're a fan of Prime or not, you, you're tuned in to what he's going to do next. I watch his son's YouTube videos, and, man, he's much watched TV, man. So, anyway, here we go. The Nike Air DT Max 96 from the golden era of, of Nike Nike sneakers, man. This There's nothing better than this. Nothing better than this. Before I get out of here, again, um, thanks, everybody, for checking out the videos again, man. Um... I hope you can tell I was a little bit excited about these today. These bring back a lot of great memories from when I first was starting to love sneakers and getting into sneakers, man. So I hope Nike keeps bringing this stuff back. I just purchased a sneaker or got it off the uh, the uh, Nike. So I didn't even know these had, I knew they were coming out. I didn't know that. I won't tell you what they are right now. When I get them in, I'll do a review on them, but the sneaker that I've got coming up soon, and I'll let you know when I get it, was the first sneaker I ever bought from someone because they were sold out and I couldn't get them. And this was, again, in the 90s. And the dude, I'll tell you the whole story when I get them, but it's it's a good story in my opinion because it kind of started me on the path of getting, you know, going, getting obsessed with sneakers and things of that nature. So anyway, man, before I get out of here, like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that notification bell uh, if you would. Let me know again what you're thinking of the videos. Give me your comments on the sneakers. If I'm missing something on them as far as the reviews that you want to make sure it gets pointed out, put it in a comment, man. If it's a sneaker you want me to take a look at or discuss, let me know that as well. Uh, again, this is Justin Kicks, and I'm going to get at you next time. Peace.